Today, we will be making Tuskegee's Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve. Today, we're going to show you how to can strawberry preserve. We have all the ingredients and the supplies that's needed to can your strawberry preserve. We have fresh strawberries, California strawberries here, and we have the Sure Jelly packet here along with your 12 ounce mason jars that you can find at Walmart or Wally World. And we have the sugar here, and this is the mason retainer for your mason jar here. You can al we also have the lemon juice. You can use lemon juice or fresh lemons. Today we will be using lemon juice. And here is our colander we have here. We're going to clean our strawberries before we start. These are the ingredients that are needed to can strawberry preserve. We are getting ready to wash the strawberries. You have to make sure they are clean to start our canning. We're going to do just a little gentle wash here of the strawberries. Make sure you take it over each one carefully. Not to get them too drained because we do want to keep and preserve the flavor, the natural flavor of the strawberries. After washing the strawberries, we're just going to line them here so that the drainage will be caught by a little plastic container. We're going to scoop the top of each strawberry because you don't want to can that. Just a little scoop to take the top off completely. And we're going to place each one, one at a time, in the bowl. Just a scoop. So we don't want big, huge or large pieces, just enough so that we can have a nice uh, consistency of the preserve. And they have a nice piece of strawberry in every bite. This is what it looked like when we finished dicing up the strawberries in little small chunks so that they could be evenly distributed in your preserve in small bite size. Now we're getting ready to add the sugar in the preserve. And I am pouring up four cups of sugar and it will be one cup per pound. We have four pounds of strawberries here. To add the sugar to the strawberries, remember that is one cup per pound. What you want to do is to add your sugar and you want to make sure it is blend well. Every strawberry is coated with sugar and keep it going and toss it back and forth so that it can have that nice consistency of the cream that you're looking for, the glaze. Add just a little more. But we're going to add a cup at a time so we can make sure each strawberry is covered to its entirety of the sugar coated. So we give it a toss and stir it over 
and over. Kind of fold as you stir. Fold. Turn your bowl and fold your sugar in. And we do have one that we didn't dice. You don't want to put that in there because you want to make sure it all is scooped out in the same size. Add in more sugar. I'm going to make sure I get all eight cups in here and toss it. And what you want to do is to make sure they're all covered. And after you have put all of your sugar into your strawberry dice, we're going to let it sit for one hour. Put all of your sugar in, making sure each one is covered to its entirety of the coating. And once it's all in, you see the thickness have already start to form here. We're going to take that leaf out because we really don't want to add any leaves or topping from the actual strawberry in there. Toss it and keep folding it, making sure it's all covered and all of the sugar has dissolved to the bottom of the bowl. And after you have evenly stirred and mixed all of the sugar into your strawberries, what we're going to do is let it sit aside for 45 minutes. Now, if you decide that you have something to do and you want to go out for the evening, you can let it sit for overnight. Okay, I'm adding my last teaspoon of lemon juice to four pounds of strawberries and one teaspoon of lemon juice per pound. As you see, the Tuskegee Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve is on the way to your table. This is what it looks like after it has set for 45 minutes. Getting ready to demonstrate how to sterilize your mason jars. And we take it carefully to the sterilizer. We place it in the water making sure that it is covered to its entirety and release. And let it sit there for about three minutes. But we like to get it skiggy clean and we let it stay there for five minutes. And while I'm making my Tuskegee Pride strawberry preserve, I like to add a little Tuskegee Pride Muscadine wine to give it that flair. So I don't mix it, but that just makes me add a little touch to it while I'm mixing it for my mason jars. I add them one at a time. Be careful because the water is hot. And if you like, you can add your, uh, a thermos thermometer in there to check the temperature of the water to make sure it is at a right temperature and don't want to put your hands in there. Okay, use your jar holder and this is a very good utensil to have because it keeps your hands from getting steamed up or, or burned in this hot water because it is very hot because you want it at a great temperature so that it can be sterilized for your cannon. You want to bring your water to a, a boil. What we're doing, we're putting all of our jars in at the same time because we have room. And you, if you have just a small container that you want to do that's half that size, you would mix the water inside your jar first and then add it into your boiling hot water. It's some hot water. But as I continue to sip from my Tuskegee Pride Muscadine wine, it don't burn that bad. What I'm doing is sterilizing the tops what you want to do is to take some of the 
hot water that your mason jars are, are sterilizing in and just add a little to your tops. Just a little so that it can cover it each top. And you want to sit those aside until your mason jars are ready for canning. We have just taken the mason jars from the boiling water where we sterilize each one carefully placed in this container as we get ready to can our Tuskegee Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve. Now this is the finished work after it has sat for 45 minutes and we're getting ready to transfer this into the pot so that we can process our preserve. Carefully pour it into the container here. Be careful because it is splash. But making sure your pot is extremely dry because you're going to let your strawberries will make its own juices. As you see, it has already started to uh, juice here. It looks like it's going to be a great preserve. And um, make sure all of the everything is inside here. And what you're going to do is put your fire or your electric stove on low to medium. And you want to continually stir. Just toss back and forth and fold your strawberries so that they will not stick and the longer you stir them the thicker your preserve will become. As we toss the Tuskegee Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve we want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom because once it stick it will no longer be Tuskegee Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve because unfortunately you will have to toss it. And we're going to make sure we stir this occasionally and, and keep it going. If you have to just talk to yourself and have your little Tuskegee Pride Muscadine wine as you toss it and kind of get your little swagger going on there with it. Tuskegee Pride Deep South strawberry preserve is coming to the end of its process as you can see it is gelling doesn't that look good and it's thick you have to be consistent with your stirring you cannot let it stick this is the process where you really need to stay focused on your stirring you have to make sure that it's done consistently and on point. As you see the preserve is forming here. The thickness is occurring and we're getting ready to can this. We're in the final stages. As you can see we're getting closer to the final stages of this strawberry preserve and um, the foam is really dissipating inside to let you know that it's almost done. We're getting to at least about 30 more minutes before it is really completely done. But you still have to, this is the point where you really have to stay focused and stir in your preserve. The Tuskegee Pride Deep South Strawberry Preserve. The color is beautiful. The pretty, pretty consistency here. I think we're doing good. We're getting ready to can it. We're making sure our water is ready to put the preserve inside of the mason jars. We have our heat on a very low heat so that you don't want it to boil over at this point. You want to stay consistent with your stirring so that the, the foam will dissipate into the preserve here and that let you know that you're getting into your finer stages as it disappear into the Tuskegee pride of the Deep South Strawberry Preserve. 
after you place it carefully in the 120 degree water your final process make sure you wait for the top to pop up and make sure the water doesn't cover the top of your mason jar this is the final step this is the final step of the canning preserve I hope this information was helpful Next, we will be making Tuskegee's Pride Deep South Black Seedless Grape Preserve. And remember to subscribe and leave your comments below.